once again, another nice show with a sword in your hand. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, and as we've been discussing with your colleagues on this one, this is a, a classical piece, yet it's a new piece. Yeah. Um, how did you find adjusting to this one? I, um, um, I, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I mean, David did a fantastic uh, job with the translation, which I think made it uh, a lot, a lot easier. Um, so it has a sort of a natural, almost modern-ish feel for a classical piece. Uh, so yeah, it's, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun to kind of merge mm -hmm. the two. So you had a really nice fight with Cyrano right off the bat. Indeed. And that was, and you sold that one wonderfully. Oh, thank you. And uh, now, um, you're you're playing first the the heavy. Yeah. And then you're a cadet, and you're thrown in the middle of war. Awful lot, you know. This one, as a classic piece, it contains a lot uh, to go a, with. It is a big piece. It is a big piece. It gives you a lot of options to work mm -hmm. with. So, uh, yeah, a fantastic uh, opportunity to to sort of expand your horizons and uh, you know attack a few different uh, a few different things in one piece, which is really nice. Uh, and you got a singing part there too. Yep. Uh, now that's quite a scene. That's got an awful lot going on in it. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, from you know the despair of war to going. Oh, the food showed up. And then the responsibility and back to the war scene. So um, that has a lot of flow to it. Uh, how'd that feel from as you were building that? Um, it was an interesting scene to put together uh, to kind of work all those layers in. But uh, I mean, it, if you enjoyed it, then uh, I think <laughs> we did a good job. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it, always hard to tell uh, when you don't get to stand back and kind of look at the whole thing. You just kind of do your part. And, Mm -hmm. Hope that it all fits together like a little jigsaw puzzle, and uh, we'll hope that it did. Now, during the, uh, specifically during that war scene, did you feel that the audience was with you through that? I think so. Uh, I mean, it felt like it anyway. Uh, you know, and, and, and throughout, I would say, you know, most of the show that I sort of experienced uh, on stage, um, you know, the audience seemed engaged. So that's that's good. Well, they were absolutely silent, and even after you finished your your song, they were very. It was. There was a reverence about it yeah. that came across. Uh, sitting in the audience, that's what I picked up. That, that the audience was there with all of you. Um, very good, very good job on, on getting the whole concept across. That that we're at war. The uh, the feel of the the starvation as well. So yeah. being a thin guy, you can pull that off. Right? <laughs> <laughs> now uh, it's a physically demanding play and an intellectually demanding play. So. How do you how do you deal with that as an actor? <laughs> um, I, to me, I mean, it just makes it more interesting. It gives you more, you know, more elements and more more tools to work with, more things to play with. So, uh, you know, it's it's fantastic to to you know have that much richness and depth in you know a couple of different parts, a couple of different sort of areas within the play. Yeah, it's, it keeps it keeps it interesting. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's not just an extended scene at all, is it? It's it certainly has its different elements. Absolutely. Well, you guys did a wonderful job. Well, thank uh, you. Everybody speaking highly of it. Great. Uh, an excellent opening night, uh, following a a preview with a standing ovation, and you had the house on their feet again tonight. Congratulations! You did you did some great work out there. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.